this is what I'm making um, the uh, The mount that I bought that's tip that typically goes on the back of a motorboat or a, a flat transom sailboat um, isn't going to work here. You can see how um, how inverted that uh, that transom is, and I would have to build it out quite a ways. Um, I didn't want to put that kind of pressure on the transom skin. Um, so I decided, or I'm opting to build it um, from the top, and I don't know if you can tell what's going on here, but I'm basically going to build this bracket here This that's just going to go drop straight down, and I'm going to bolt the top of it straight into the deck. It's going to be cantilevered on the back here, off the back, and then down, um, uh, down vertical, and and now I can also make it very nice and uh, flat. And I don't have to worry about compound curves, which is, you know, this is a, a real compound curve. There's some old tape I put there. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. But um, so I'm just taking some measurements and building it out partially, at least um, with um, with some wood. And I'm going to have some support pieces come out, too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and measure now for support pieces that go from the back of this this down to here and I'll just have two and I'll probably bolt them through the uh, bolt them through the transom um, but it's a single bolt each and not uh, four and all this weight just hanging off it so I think it's gonna work um, but uh, yeah we'll see Okay, so here's a little bit about the, uh, the uh, outboard engine mount. Um, this is uh, the top part of what I had fabricated right here. And I have it just setting up on the, uh, on the transom, as you can see. Let me get you a side view if I can without dropping the... Okay, so I tried to square it um, just by eyeballing it to... Um, uh, to get it actually perpendicular to the beam of the ship, uh, the boat here. And I propped this up because of, of course, this back here is raising it up. I've got some, some more pieces to get off of this. I don't want it sitting direct on here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this bucket of water on top um, to hold it. And I'll go out in the dinghy and then measure um, pieces out that way. Um, and I, I just took some measurements for um, so I can put some bolt holes in here. So I'll bolt it down um, to the deck, a couple over here. Um, so that'll be held here, and then I'll have a couple pieces that will um, tie into the transom itself. So I'll open this over. Okay, I'm gonna hold that, and then let's get in the dinghy. Okay, so here's the uh, the rear. Here's the transom right here, and uh, <clears throat> you see that I'm I'm trying to measure over here some pieces that will go this way and connect here. I'm doing it in a dinghy, <clears throat> um, and there's uh, we're on the side of a river, so we've got a current flowing. You can't see, it's not much, but it's something. It keeps wanting to push me off the boat. Um, and the back of the transom is a compound curve. So I, I don't know exactly how to make this pretty. Uh, to tell you the truth, it's, um, I keep thinking that maybe I'll just do one leg to attach the, the transom because at least that way I'm only messing up one, but really, I think this deserves two. Um, I just don't know how to tell the machine shop how to compensate or even how to measure this thing accurately when I'm in, you know, I've got no point of reference other than this. 
and this isn't bolted down. So, anyways, this is uh, this is what we're dealing with here. Uh, we'll keep on trying to measure and see what we can do. Okay, and here's what I've got. Uh, got this all welded up. It's 304 stainless. It's 11 gauge, one and a half inch tube steel. Um, I measured uh, I measured all of this, or I measured for these pieces rather after this L this L shape was was formed. I don't know if these are going to work yet. I'm going to take it up to the boat uh, again this weekend. But um, the, the welders did a pretty good job. I'm pretty happy with that. And then I've got them. I've got some three eighths inch holes drilled um, to bolt it to the deck, and then I've got some more holes drilled so I can put the um, articulating motor mount here so I can raise and lower the uh, uh, the motor out of the water um, but uh, this is what's come of it so this weekend I'll go ahead and take it out and uh, see if it actually fits uh, my bigger my biggest concern is these lengths because uh, and these angles because of the the dynamic curve of the, the transom on my boat and the lengths of these and trying to measure them while the uh, the Alberg 30 was bouncing around and I'm gonna diggy dinghy and that is also bouncing around so um, uh, wish me luck